Hi guys, this is Uday. In this video, I am going to show you a basic installer creation with install shield. For this, I am going to create a installer for Ant project. This is the file I have downloaded from Ant website. I am going to extract it to the folder. And I want to install this folder to see program files. Let me create a project in install shield. We have the option create a new project here. Just click on it. As this is a basic project, we can select this one basic MSA project. The install script project is specific to install shield where we can have a multiple uh, installation scripts created with uh, the language cre created by install shield. So let's select basic MSA project. I will explain you about install script project in my next video. Let's give the project name as ant. Leave it in the default folder. You can go to installation designer. Let's keep the product name and if it is okay or we can keep the name as is as with the properties of this file. Oh, no vendor information available on this. But let's use this 1.9.7 as version to this installer. Let's generate a new product code. This product code is specific to the installer we create. I mean the product. So in the future also, if you are going to create a new installer for Ant, and if you want to detect the system, the previous versions of it, we need to maintain the same upgrade code for it. This is the default folder where we are going to install our product. Let's keep it. and when you click on this files and folder the top section shows the file system of the machine where this install shell is running and the down one is the target uh, installation means so let's say we we want these particular files. This is in the folder documents. So let's go here documents and we want this folder to be installed in the program files directly. Let's keep the future name as Ant. It's asking to link the files uh, dynamically to that uh, project. What is the problem with that is it will only map to that folder. It won't map to the files. So uh, let's keep no only. So it will take the default one. So that it will keep mapping up all the files in the installer project. It created as a subfolder to our install directory, but we don't want like this. So let's change that one in the directory table. Directory parent is enter. So let's go and see here. The 
the files are visible here. Now if you go to this, it came outside of this end. So, but the default folder is selected to this ant empty directory. Let's change it back to Apache ant. Now this is the installation directory. And as per our requirement, we want this folder bin to be in the path variable so that uh, we can locate these uh, command files and batch files from everywhere in the machine. So let's go to environment variables. Path. let's set our value here installed here so that this will be pointed to our installation directory this uh, front end back square bracket space face we are using a uh, property or a directory table entry if you click append it will it will add our entry to our existing value at the end of the value if you click prefix, it will add at the stopping of the var. Let me show you directly. If we add install layer to the path variable as append, this is the previous path variable. Our value will be added here. If we keep prefix, our value will be added bef just before to this one, to the first value. So uninstall, we can remove it. If you keep user, it will be user variable. Only to that particular user, it will be installed. If you, let me show you in the system how it will be. If you click on properties, advanced system properties, environment variables. If you click the value as user, it will come in the top section, in the user variable section. So it will be only to that particular user. If you click in system variable, it will come to all the users. I am keeping system for this. So title we can keep ant installer subject for version 7 with path variable set other I'll keep my name <laughs> let's keep it as this this is the icon uh, default icon and we'll get this particular icon for the install shield if you want we can change that icon uh, with our customized one
we got the icon so let's browse the icon here this will be visible in the add or remove programs let's go to build section to create an installer releases release wizard let's keep the name we release one let's go with default and I want everything to be compressed in a single MSA file I don't want any external cap files or loose files just beside my installer so I'm keeping the first one I don't want any setup.exe I want just the MSA directly So the project is building and if you have any internal consistency errors with the installer I mean the errors uh, uh, regarding that foreign key entries with the database as MSA is also a database um, those errors will be shown here there are zero errors and one warning we can validate that one with full MSA validation suit so it will check for any ICE errors So this one we can skip, it's not an issue. These two. If you click on this one, we'll get the installer shown here. MSA. Let me show you how to install this. If you directly double click this one, you, those screens will come. And if you want to install this silently, you can just uh, copy the path. Open the installer. MSA EXCC slash I copy the path and if you want a log file for this click L star V and the log file path and if you want the installer should be installed in silent you can keep Q and if you want the QN and if you want the progress bar also visible in a passive mode you can keep QB So the installation is starting. You won't see any next next screens, just the progress bar you are seeing here as a passive mode. Once it is installed, you can see the entry here, our icon. And we didn't change any manufacturer name there, so that's why it got the default one the product version is this one this is the size of the installer we installed and we have installed in C program files as it is 664 bit one it will come under C program files x86 Apache and pin if you open a new command prompt and click on uh, path our app is Yeah, our app is visible here. But problem is we don't want this folder. We want the bin folder in this end. Then only the the variable will recognize the 
exe is in the bin folder so let's go to the environment path variables environment variable and let's change the value to bin why I'm not keeping semicolon is it's already I mean backslash is it's already taken the value if you go to directory table study here the value will be already appended with the backslash so that's why I'm not giving it's it won't be shown here you can see that in Orca let me build it If you run the installer again, as the previous version is already installed, the binary value is different with the previous installation. That MSI is already cached into that one. So to do that, we can uh, uh, we can uninstall or uninstall it, or we can re reinstall this particular MSI. So it will recache the MSI. So if you go to properties now and see the environment variable reflected or not. You can see the value bin and previous is also there. It will be removed once we uninstall that. That's it. Thanks for watching the video.